Alright, welcome back to King's Quest 3. Um, this video is even more edited than any of the others. You're gonna see, if you look, you'll see a whole lot of uh, time skipping and stuff. But that's because my original video was like 12 minutes and 40 seconds long. So I had to pare down like 1 minute and 30 seconds. Don't worry, I didn't cut out anything important. I just cut it out, cut out a whole bunch of times where I just stopped moving and didn't do anything. So I'm going to be going through it very quick, which is good because it's a pretty boring video, not much gets done, due to, uh, due to the fact that there's so many spells still to make. Alright, so this is how you get rid of this spider here. You eat it, you grab it with your eagle, and you... <coughs> get rid of her once and for all. One of my solutions, my early solution was to speed up this segment because it's not really that interesting, but it kind of looked messy so I decided to just cut stuff out. So if you look, if you care, then you'll see time skips and stuff. Though it won't look like Gwydion skips except for once. But it'll also look like Gwydion never like stops or anything because that's the way it goes, right? <coughs> you have entered the cave of the Oracle. The oracle just appears behind a crystal ball. That's freaking wicked sick. I wish I could do that. I have been waiting for you a long time, Gwydion. I have sorrowful news for you. Years ago, a terrible three-headed dragon invaded Daventry. It keeps the people in a state of terror. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. So, as you can see, it links down to the original game now with Daventry. She's crying because she's going to get owned by a three-headed dragon. I'd be freaking crying too. The Oracle's just showing you this in this flashy crystal ball. Of course, Gwydion, who has epilepsy, is busy having a seizure right now. Anyway, I have something to give you, a small stone of umb. The oracle grows silent again and seems to fall into a deep sleep. You attempt to thank the oracle, but he does not respond. I still haven't visited that one little spot. Maybe I'll visit that next episode. I cut out every time I save it, too. Alright, a cut's coming out here where I saved the game. See? So clean. Alright, so... Going up the mountain path. I have to go up the mountain path a few more times after all. I'm gonna have to go up again because I forgot another item. Three dried acorns. Which can be found by the thief's hut. So this cliff is getting a lot of use. That'll be the last spell to make, and I'll you make it tomorrow. You saw the save thing there. I don't they wondered what that weird white flash was. All right, so go back to the wizard's laboratory. Get his magic wand. Now it's your magic wand. Forget the wizard. He's a cat. No one cares about cats. It's your bloody magic wand. Yeah. Why would you relock it? If I were Gwydion, I'd just make the place look like it had been frickin' ransacked. I cut out a little bit there too because I was so slow doing that bit. I'm gonna trip over the edge of the stairway again, like I always do. 
but I'm gonna cut out the beep doop beep doop beep doop because it's not really necessary and so this is gonna skip a bit. Whoops. <laughs> Another skip. You might have noticed the time went nuts there. Anyway, I should probably stop watching that and come to the commenting. All right, so now we're gonna gonna make the spell to talk. To listen to animals. The spell's funny. Look what look what happens. You put the fur in the bowl, right? So you got your dog hair and you got your chicken feather in a bowl. So picture this: dog hair and chicken feather in a bowl, right? Put reptile skin in a bowl. So now there's dog hair, chicken feather, and reptile skin. And then powdered fish bone, just in case it was any good, better. Put some dew in. And then you... It turns into dough. That stuff turns into dough. That's just weird, first of all. A bunch of animal bits and uh, dew turn into dough. And then you divide animal bits and dew into two pieces, and you put them in your ears. So now you've got like pieces of animals and dew in your ears, and dews would just water, so whatever. Magic is weird. commas I hate commas I mean if, if, if it's a choice between writing a comma and dying I hate and that's so weird though oh well never mind I didn't die once this game actually this suit time I would have been pretty happy if I did because it would have given me a good thing to cut out I found out how to cut out my scenes to the frame so yeah, that's why uh, the cutouts are a lot of the cutouts are very smooth because I uh, fix them to the frame. Sometimes it'll be walking and I just randomly stopped, but but uh, because I got it down to the frame where he stopped and down to the frame where he started again, it looked like he just kept on walking. Maybe started walking even faster for a moment. So wait, we got salt and mistletoe in a mortar? That's just kind of weird. Who would want salt and mistletoe? And then you rub a, a stone in salt and mistletoe. <laughs> so you, you, you kiss the stone and you accidentally eat some of the mistletoe and die from its poison. The end. This is pretty funny too, you have to kiss your spell before it works. And then say another retarded passage from Ye Book of Magic. I know it's supposed to be the oh, we give it Queen of Spades. And then they have the word thither, which is a pretty frickin' awesome word. From this place hither to another place far thither. What kind of a cheap rhyme is that, cheapers? There's another cut. Open page LXXIV. Alright, so what are we gonna be doing now? <laughs> oh, wise one, we put a cup of ocean water in a bowl. Then we light a charcoal brazier. Good thing Mananan has all this stuff. Well, actually. There, there's no logical fallacy there, luckily, because, uh, logical fallacy, now I sound like I'm in a freaking debate, there's no leap in logic there, because he's a wizard, so obviously he'd have ingredients for casting magic spells, especially, in particular, spells which can be found, with gene ingredients for, can be found all over Ludor. Cloudy brown. Ugh. 
toadstool powder. I better not have to eat this one or put it in my ears or anything. What am I making? Oh yeah, I'm making storm brew. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have to eat that. If I eat this storm brew, I'll probably have a lightning bolt hit me from the inside. And that'll just be weird. Combine to set the heavens free when I stir this magic brew. Great God Thor, I call on you. Guess what it does? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, this is one of the ones you have to put it in a jar. Luckily, and it has a jar too. Well, I'll see you in the next, hopefully not as boring, part.